Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and welcome to another lovely video on the Performium faction server. Ooh, that was some lag. I, I think someone did some sort of ability. And I am back here in the base. We haven't really gotten the storage area going yet, but that's on the list of things to do. Instead, there's been a bunch of things going on elsewhere. Oh, and here's Cuddles. I'm going to go up top uh, to my home slash home skyblock and show you something. There has been some work going on up here. Do, do, do. We have Jojo and White Cat and a couple other people have been converting this into an actual sky block. And it's going to be nice and artsy. And they are making it hang down, putting some ores in there. Oh, that's what the importance of the uh, getting the, the silk touch was about. This is going to encase a sky block. Wow. Okay. Neat. Uh, th this is new to me. I told them to do their own thing. They're doing it. This is wonderful. I'm I'm very happy to see this. This is very very cool. Also up here, they have placed the actual perimeter if. If I come out here, wilderness, back in here, sky block. All of this, all the way around, is the uh, perimeter of the claims now, uh, of which there are several. And things are progressing. Uh, a lot of the stuff in these chests has been moved down. After they are done doing this, some of this is going to get shifted around and they are going to be making smaller as I understand it smaller skyblock islands floating in the sky connected by bridges and they as I understand it are going to be putting some of the things on these different small skyblocks like uh, each one of these has will have their own or something like that I, I'm not 100% certain but that's that's what I was led to understand but uh, yeah I am very pleased with this development, and uh, it's seeing all this grass being used to build is just, it, it makes my brain go, but it's grass, and then the other part of my brain goes, oh yeah, this isn't really Skyblock, this is Factions, so it's kind of a mixed emotion, I, I actually think it's really funny, but yeah, this is really neat. I'm happy with this. But I'll be much happier wh whoa, when everything gets uh, adjusted down below the way I, I need it to, at least for getting the room set up so we can know where and how to expand. So that's the next thing on my priority list, is working down there, getting the storage in place, getting the apartments for habitation taken care of and uh, seeing where the mob killing areas are going to be. A whole bunch of uh, little projects are going to need to come to a head down there before uh, I am going to be comfortable enough with moving on to the other aspects. Uh, I have to also figure out where I'm putting in the fishing area so that people won't accidentally blow things up while fishing. There's just a bunch of little things that need to go on down there. So, without any further ado, I'm going to get back to work. I will talk to you in just a bit. So I know I keep saying this, but a whole lot has been getting done. I'm, I'm just really happy with the progress. This is fantastic. Everyone is doing all the things. It's, it's so hard to keep up with it, too, because... It, one person will get done, and then while I'm trying to explain what this one person's doing, then another person's done, so I have to get them something to do. It, it's phenomenal, it's wonderful, and it's also very taxing, but in a good sort of way. I'm not sitting still. This is 
very nice, very nice. Oh, and speaking of not sitting still, I'm always eating. I'm running everywhere. This is fantastic. Anyway, this has been basically completed and filled in. Uh, I'm thinking maybe a couple little things might be able to go into the middle or just leave it open. Who knows? This, this could look good open, I suppose. It doesn't have to be filled in. There's plenty of space. Uh, some more chests are likely to be going in this area. Maybe some chests in here. Perhaps in the center have some chests. I'm not sure. We'll find out. The wall is going to get replaced, but that's... Uh, the resources are needed elsewhere for right now. Speaking of the resources being useful elsewhere, let's go look at what's going on down here. Where the, use, where the resources are being useful. Johnny Happy Feet has taken some initiative and continues to take initiative. Anyway, this is where apartments are going to go for now. Uh, on both sides, there are going to be hallways there and there. There are going to be uh, multiple uh, uh, size and shape apartments uh, for different people. No one's going to take precedence over the other. It's just there's going to be rooms. They will be on both sides of these walkways. There's lava down there somewhere. Uh, and also on both sides of these walkways here. Oh, this needs to get punched all the way out and expanded. Uh, and then this needs to come out to here. But... This is where all of the, uh, or most of the apartments are going to go. As you can see, they're going to be able to be 6, 12, probably, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. Six, tw wow, 24 apartments down here. That should be ample for now. Plus, there's going to be, I think this is where I'm going to be putting uh, maybe a rec room and perhaps my office or something uh that way it's also down here with habitation sort of like overseer from uh fallout and this is basically what this is and this this is like a, a vault where we can all live underground even though we're sky blockers uh the dogs still need to get relocated and that will happen soon enough uh, another thing that has happened is with a lot of help from little cuddles, storage has started taking shape. And this is coming along very nicely. I am, uh, I, I, as I understand it, these are going to be getting shuffled into there after their contents are dealt with. And then chests are going to get put in here as dump chest. And whoever is in charge of sorting at the time will gather from here and put into storage as necessary so that's what this is uh, I was going to have a gigantic storage down below but for right now I think we can just worry about filling this up any overflow that we get that can go down below uh, or or can do sell hand for all I know some materials we may not want to just keep tons of but this is coming along really really nicely uh, and one more thing that I'm thinking we might want to have up here for sure is a, a kitchen with with all the different kinds of foods and prepared and ingredients and stuff like that uh, Probably, hmm, well, if this is storage, then it would make sense to have the kitchen over here next to the storage. So, probably kitchen here. Do I have signs? Oh, there's some signs right there. Excellent. Earmark this for a kit. Wow, kitchen. And let's think about this for a second. That's going to be the kitchen. What else could I put on this level? 
I mean, we don't really need like a cobblestone generator. That's up above. Because, well, you know, skyblock and all that. We don't really need a cobblestone generator. It's just hilarious. Uh, hum. I don't know what else to put on this. Uh, this is basically supposed to be access to things that people are going to be regularly using and doing. This is basically the hub. Maybe I will put a little fishing hole over here. Just out of the way. And just make sure people have to be in the water. Hmm. That might have to do. Uh, but, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, for right now, though, there are lots of things that need to get done. Including a lot more resource gathering. And... I have to do some skill leveling, and I need to lay out where the farms are going to go. There's just a whole bunch of stuff that's going on. So, I'm going to get back to work, and hopefully there will be just a ton more stuff to talk about in just a few bits. So, I'll talk to you shortly. More and more and more things are happening. Lots of progress in the sorting. Little Cuddles is helping immensely with that. When, when she sees this, if she sees this, thank you, millions, for helping with that. While other things are happening, happening elsewhere on the build. Uh, the walls have been finished down here. Uh, I'll come back to this in just a bit. A lot has happened down here in the apartments, and people are claiming them, and it's... L lava Roof is, is not... That, that's taken care of. Uh, the rooms are basically uh, first come, first served, and Elmay's 11 decided to put a little something extra on their sign because they fancied themselves an alpha type person. Uh, we have not finished all of the rooms, but that's okay. A lot of time got spent on them. I hollowed them out and they are actually placing the walls. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, these need to all be done, but that's all right. Elmaze is working on it. Seems like they're focusing over on this side. They're in their room. They don't see me. That's right. Anyway, lots and lots of stuff going on. Also, we have here, if you notice the pattern, with the help of Absolute Zero here, we have the beginnings of the sugarcane farm. And yes, it is gigantic. Because there's herbalism on here, and the fastest way to get your herbalism up is sugarcane farms. It really is. It's the most effective way. You don't have to replant. You just let it grow and let it grow and let it grow, and everything is happy and hunky-dory. So the way this is going to work is lily pads will go there. Sugarcane will go on all the dirt, except for the ones that it can't. Like, for instance, sugarcane won't plant here. Matter of fact, I'm going to just go ahead and do that, and that, and just go along here and fill all these in. But basically, once this is in place, people can start rapidly increasing their herbalism, just like people can start rapidly increasing their, uh, their repair. I knew the word on the cactus next to the block of iron up above. Uh, this needs to do that and this. The reason why I'm not just putting water blocks under there is because this is the outer wall. So if I put a water block there, then a haphazard explosion might be able to get in or something. So in order to just avoid that entirely, this is just going to be left to not grow. There we go. 
Oh, and now I have enough dirt to fill these in. I probably should have dug the dirt with my shovel to get my excavation skill up, but that's all right. Let's see here. Any other holes? I don't see any, so now it's time for lily pads. All right. Well, I guess it's time to plant, so... Yeah, it's already on top of the sugarcane aspect. So I'm going to get back to work. Still plenty to do. I'll be back. Alrighty then. Uh, a few things that I have discovered recently. One, mycelium does not sell. You can't like go sell hand with mycelium blocks. Brown mushrooms and red mushrooms do not sell. But brown mushrooms still are used in, in making fermented spider eyes, so I'm, I'm going to be keeping those. But those are some sad discoveries that those do not sell. Another thing that uh, happened recently, Cuddles basically derped through the floor, like uh, disconnect, and then reconnected under the, uh, the island, or, or under the map or whatever, and fell to the void and lost a bunch of things, including her dragon head. So she now has a new dragon head. Look at that. There's this is little cuddles. Hello, little cuddles. She has been very diligently working on getting things sorted. Uh and and I don't know how she is still up. I don't know how I'm still up. It's very late for me right now. But this she is she is an amazing person. She really is. Anyway, I have gotten lost this direction here. I have, with the help of Absolute Zero, managed to acquire a very full sugarcane farm. This is not as big as some that I've used, but this is very big anyway. So now let me I, let me demonstrate exactly why I want one this big. The skill called Herbalism. Uh, is activated or, or increased by manually harvesting plants. Plants include crops and, as it so happens, sugarcane. And just because this will bother me knowing that it is there, boop. And boop. Now they're probably just going to start regrowing. Yeah, they are. Okay, that should just about be all of the ones on the ground. Oh, wait, here's some. Do, 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 do. Let me see roughly how much this was. Actually, this was a full harvest because I didn't wait for everything to get three tall. So this is just going to be a demonstration. But I want you to get a look at how sizable this farm is. You can basically count this if you want to uh, and and estimate how much I broke actually you don't have to estimate at all first off that one harvest took me from like very low in level 2 all the way up to level 16 all in one harvest it'll be even more XP gain when everything is three tall but I got this much sugar cane out of that. That's phenomenal. But what's even better, sell hand. I got 50 bucks out of that harvest. Ain't too shabby. For, for the combination of getting all those levels and getting all that money out of Something as benign as sugarcane, this is totally worth having a huge farm for. This is an herbalism farm. That's what this is. So now you know why it exists and how it's going to be used. Uh, the kitchen... Uh, I'm lost again. The kitchen has not really been... Uh, developed yet because I need to figure I need to discuss with everyone else uh, what sorts of things might might be wanted in the kitchen if it's going to be just a here goes everything cooked and uncooked everything and here's veggies and here's fruits and things like that or if it's just going to be a 
smallish kind of room I, I, with some more furnaces. I don't know what they are going to want out of it, so instead of me just just brute force designing it, I'm going to ask for a little assistance from the rest of the faction, uh, at least as far as opinions on design. Another thing that has happened recently is, now that I've gotten a bunch of this stuff done, I did some behind-the-scenes digging and had had to even oops, repair uh, and re-enchant my diamond shovel, so I'm going to need to get some more levels here soon. Feed. I, I Just today I discovered that I had feed. I didn't even know. But that feeds me all the way up to full. Uh... Let's see here. F or no slash home desert. I'm going to go to a desert that I found. Who are you? That's little cuddles. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, it's night time. I have been very, very busy. I have been removing sand from this in truckloads and it is proving to give me a lot of levels uh, it doesn't really matter to me that it's night time I'm fine with that but as long as you have a reasonably a reasonably high efficiency on your shovel you can really quickly go up in levels by just finding a desert and deleting it manually. There we go. You can see roughly how much I got. Well, exactly how much I got in levels. Let's see here. I, I, in just that little tiny layer, I got four more levels and a bunch of glowstone I already had some I don't remember how much but I, I had some glowstone already but as my level increases more and more loot and more types of loot will, will be dropping from this I think you can even get like name tags and maps and compasses and things from just digging sand at higher levels it's it's actually really cool it's it's an adventure just digging sand so I'm doing this so we can get a lot more resources uh, more rapidly and also uh, because I want to see if I can uh, get really high on the the ranking for that because let's see here my excavation is 106 um, let's see here MC stat no MC MMO help and okay there we go uh, MC top okay MC top uh, excavation Is that how it works there we go two hundred seventy three. That's the, that's all I have to do to get to the top ten of excavation. Kiraberry is seven fifty three. That's and there's apex squid on, in position three, and there's the holy pancakes. There's but it's really really easy to level up with excavation really quick, and the rewards that you get from it is is really worth the investment in time and the initial resources it really is so i've been doing this a little bit the base is getting built things are growing people are doing stuff so i figure hey why not work on a skill so that i can at least uh, provide more resources than standard so i've been just coming to this desert and turning it into sandstone instead of just sand uh, it is very large. There's a lot of flat areas, so it's not a hilly uh, desert. Uh, 
that's part of the reason why I picked it. It is definitely an awesome desert. I don't know where the stripe came from. That was not me. It was like here. That was like that when I found it. It was just here. But it, I don't know if that was terrain generation, or if someone w has been through here and just said, "I want to dig some sand," and didn't, then left, because that's the only evidence if they did. But this is what I'm doing right now. I am digging sand. And as you can see, there aren't many bad guys spawning around me. It is nighttime, but there's nothing here. I'm not complaining at all. I'm thinking it has something to do with my poor connectivity. And so the server doesn't realize that I'm here in this exact location. It just knows that I've, I'm somewhere around this area. And so it doesn't know exactly where to spawn things. But I've been out here two nights in a row now and nothing has spawned within visual range. So I don't know what gives. But I'm going to keep digging. And then I'm going to get back to the base, see what else has changed, and see where we are on the episode as well. But uh, for right now, I'll be right back. On a side note, uh, Night Hunter has decided to come out to the end to take a look around. And discovered what has been added to the end. Uh, they did not know that this was just normal. That must be Night Hunter, as a matter of fact. Oh, Night Hunter 87 there. Okay. But uh, I, I could not help but notice that this looks like a very goofy face. Like, just... I, I mean, there's the beard and the mouth off the center, and just the the drool coming out of the mouth and the bug eyes. This is just, it's a perfect goofy face. But also, I found some end rods. So, yoink. And, y yoink. Oh, skill activated. Yeah, this is hilarious. But clearly someone has been here before. This is one of the ships that has the shulkers and all the other kind of stuff on it. You, you saw nothing. You heard nothing. But uh, I I am actually... This is my first time being to one of these in the end. This is a, a new experience for me. Uh, obviously, I didn't have to fight the end dragon. But you know what? I call this a win. I, I, I'm happy. And also, if I had silk touch, I could be getting some purple glass from this. But I don't. So that'll just have to wait until sometime in the future. But I want you to see this. This is the end. Not everyone has actually been to one of these in person. I haven't. This is new to me. End rods. Pretty torches. All kinds of end rods everywhere. But, you know what? I think that this is a magnificent point to go ahead and end the episode. So, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave a message in the comment section below. And I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. I love uh, hearing from you guys and uh, any of the information that I can use in my builds or in my videos, I am glad to try to implement. So so please don't be shy with it. I, I like to learn new things all the time. Uh, anyway, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please do give a like. I appreciate that, and it does help. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. There is lots coming, not just here on Skyblock, or on Factions, but also on Skyblock, and the creative building game that has been started, and bunches of other stuff planned for the future. Building with iron blocks? This is insane. Neat. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night on the Performium Faction server. And I will talk to you later.